Many of us are unconsciously trapped in repetitive cycles of thought, behavior, and emotion, patterns formed by past experiences, conditioning, and fear of the unknown. These familiar routines may offer a sense of security, but they also limit our potential and prevent us from fully living in alignment with our true selves. By becoming aware of these patterns and taking deliberate steps to break free, we can reclaim our power, embrace new possibilities, and cultivate a life of deeper fulfillment, self-awareness, and freedom. Lesson 1 How Stress Keeps Us Trapped in Survival Mode In our daily lives, stress often feels like a constant companion, lurking just beneath the surface. When we encounter unpredictable or uncontrollable threats, our bodies automatically shift into survival mode instinctively. This response is driven by the sympathetic nervous system, a primitive but essential part of our nervous system that prepares us to face danger. When stress hits, a series of physiological changes occur almost instantaneously. The pupils in our eyes dilate allowing for enhanced vision, a necessary adaptation for spotting potential threats. Our heart rate accelerates, and our breathing quickens, supplying more oxygen to our muscles and brain for swift action. At the same time, glucose is released into the bloodstream, providing an immediate energy source to power our bodies through the challenge at hand. Blood flow shifts dramatically during this process. It is directed away from internal organs and toward the muscles, optimizing our physical ability to fight, flee, or hide. Initially, our immune system springs into action, preparing to defend against any potential harm. However, this heightened state is temporary. As adrenaline and cortisol flood the body, the immune response can eventually diminish leaving us vulnerable if stress persists. In these moments of crisis, rational thinking often takes a back seat. Our brains transition from complex problem-solving to instinctual reactions, allowing us to respond quickly to threats. This shift can be beneficial in immediate danger, but it also means we might not think clearly or creatively. We rely more on our instincts, which are designed to protect us, but can also lead to hasty decisions. Emotions play a crucial role in how we experience stress. They are not just fleeting feelings, they are chemical reactions triggered by our experiences. When we encounter something significant, be it a threat or a moment of joy, our brains release specific chemicals that shape those emotional responses. These chemical reactions create memories that are etched into our neural pathways. Every time we experience a strong emotion, whether positive or negative, our brain takes note. It captures not just the event, but also the emotional context surrounding it. This process is how long-term memories are formed, linking our experiences with the feelings they evoke. The memories we create through these emotional experiences become part of our identity. For instance, a traumatic event can leave a lasting imprint, causing us to relive that moment repeatedly in our minds. The brain cannot distinguish between a real event and a memory and thus the same stress chemicals are released as if the original event were happening all over again. As we navigate through life, our emotional memories shape our reactions and perceptions. They inform how we respond to new challenges, often filtering our experiences through the lens of past traumas. This can lead to a cycle where stress becomes a persistent state of being, affecting not just our mental health, but also our physical well-being. When stress becomes chronic, it can keep us in a prolonged state of survival mode, which is not sustainable and can negatively impact both mental and physical health. 
Understanding the mechanics of stress is the first step in addressing its impact on our lives. While short bursts of stress are manageable, prolonged exposure can lead to a state of chronic stress, which is detrimental to our health. It is essential to recognize when our bodies are stuck in survival mode and take proactive steps to regain balance. Practices such as mindfulness, deep breathing, and physical exercise can help us reset our bodies and minds. By becoming aware of our stress responses, we can begin to break the cycle of reactivity and learn to respond thoughtfully rather than instinctively. In conclusion, living in stress means living in survival mode, activating a cascade of physiological and emotional responses. By understanding these processes, we can empower ourselves to navigate stress more effectively and foster a healthier relationship with our emotions and memories. This awareness is the key to transforming our experiences, allowing us to move beyond mere survival and toward a more balanced, fulfilling life. Lesson 2 The Foundation of Emotional Health Understanding Attachment Styles and Their Lifelong Impact Attachment style, secure or insecure, plays a critical role in shaping a child's emotional health throughout their life. The concept of attachment, introduced by John Bowlby and later expanded by Mary Ainsworth, highlights the profound impact early caregiver relationships have on the emotional development of children. Secure attachment develops through emotional attunement, which refers to the deep, subtle connection between caregivers and children. This attunement enables infants to feel understood, supported, and valued. Research consistently shows that when caregivers and infants are emotionally in sync, the result is a cascade of positive effects that foster both physical and emotional well-being. Emotional attunement involves the caregiver's ability to recognize and respond to an infant's cues, be it through vocalizations, gestures, or emotional expressions. This sensitivity allows children to feel a sense of safety and security, laying the groundwork for a healthy emotional foundation. Securely attached children develop a robust sense of agency. They learn to navigate their emotions and stressors effectively, understanding what feels good or bad and recognizing their ability to influence their feelings and surroundings. This emotional competence becomes a vital tool for managing life's challenges, fostering resilience as they grow. In contrast, children who experience neglect or abuse often find themselves in a state of emotional turmoil. Without the consistent support and understanding of their caregivers, these children frequently feel powerless and may struggle to develop healthy coping mechanisms. The absence of emotional attunement creates a profound sense of insecurity that can permeate every aspect of their lives. As these children mature, the lack of a strong internal sense of security can lead to significant challenges. They may struggle to discern safety from danger, leading to an overwhelming sense of anxiety or mistrust in their relationships. Feelings of unworthiness or undesirability often take root, making them more susceptible to negative treatment from others. In many cases, they may even unconsciously expect such treatment, perpetuating a cycle of trauma and emotional pain. Early attachment experiences shape our relationship patterns throughout life, influencing not only our expectations of others, but also our ability to find comfort and joy in their presence. These patterns become deeply embedded in our emotional brain, often manifesting in adult relationships as we seek to replicate the familiar dynamics we experienced in childhood. For instance, Securely attached individuals are more likely to engage in healthy, trusting relationships, finding joy and comfort in the company of others. They are adept at emotional regulation, 
able to communicate their needs and boundaries effectively. Conversely, those with insecure attachments may struggle with intimacy, often fearing rejection or abandonment. This fear can lead to avoidance of close relationships or a pattern of clinging that overwhelms their partners. The relationship maps we create through our early experiences are not easily changed. They are imprinted into the emotional brain, influencing our reactions and interactions for years to come. Recognizing the impact of these early attachments can be enlightening, but it is important to understand that awareness alone may not be sufficient for healing. Understanding that a fear of intimacy may stem from a caregiver's unresolved trauma can provide context, but it does not automatically lead to healthier relationships. Healing requires a conscious effort to explore and understand these patterns, to seek new ways of connecting with others that promote security and trust. While early attachment has a strong influence, it can be changed. Through intentional work, individuals can learn to foster healthier relationships, break free from negative cycles, and create new, positive attachment experiences. This process often involves exploring past experiences, recognizing emotional triggers, and practicing emotional regulation. Therapeutic approaches such as attachment-based therapy, mindfulness practices, and relational therapies can help individuals develop a deeper understanding of their attachment styles. They can learn to identify and challenge negative beliefs about themselves and others, fostering a sense of worthiness and deserving love and respect. Additionally, engaging in community activities, building supportive friendships, and practicing healthy communication can help individuals cultivate a sense of connection and security. By consciously nurturing these new relationships, they can create a positive feedback loop that reinforces their emotional growth and resilience. Lesson 3. The Emotional Impact of Caregivers on Children's Development Children cannot choose their parents nor do they fully grasp that their caregivers may be overwhelmed by personal struggles, such as depression or anger. Children adapt to survive within the dynamics of their families, often perceiving their parents as the sole authority figures in their lives. This perception leaves them feeling trapped, unable to escape their circumstances or seek support elsewhere. The home which ideally should be a haven of safety and love, often becomes a source of confusion, distress, and emotional turmoil. In such environments, children may feel pressured to suppress their emotions. Rather than openly expressing their feelings, they may exhibit anger, withdraw emotionally, or oscillate between compliance and defiance. These responses are survival mechanisms that arise from a desperate need to cope with their circumstances. A child may feel guilty for not meeting their parents' expectations, or fear abandonment when their parents are preoccupied with their own issues. This intricate emotional web results in significant trust issues and difficulties in forming healthy relationships later in life. The feelings of anger, Guilt and fear that children experience are often rooted in past experiences, such as abandonment, neglect, or harsh treatment. When a child is consistently met with disappointment or emotional unavailability, they learn to internalize these feelings, leading to a profound sense of distrust toward others. They may come to believe that emotional expression is futile or that vulnerability invites rejection. These beliefs can follow them into adulthood, creating barriers to connection and intimacy. Changing these deep-rooted perceptions is not merely a matter of reframing thoughts. It requires a fundamental reorganizing of the emotional brain, a process that demands time, patience, and intentional effort. 
the journey toward healing involves recognizing the emotional patterns that have been established over years of conditioning. Typically, our logical thinking serves as a tool to navigate our emotional experiences. However, in moments of threat or rejection, we often revert to old, unhealthy habits. The brain's emotional center can become so overwhelmed that it takes precedence over logical reasoning. This is particularly true for children, who may lack the cognitive resources to process complex emotional experiences. They might react impulsively or cling to defense mechanisms that have served them in the past, yet ultimately hinder their growth. To initiate the healing process, it is crucial to acknowledge our emotional responses. This acknowledgement involves embracing the discomfort that accompanies painful feelings. Children must learn to observe their emotions without judgment, understanding that these feelings are valid and significant. Instead of resisting or dismissing their emotions, they can begin to accept and befriend them. Befriending emotions means allowing ourselves to feel without becoming overwhelmed. It requires cultivating a sense of safety around our emotional experiences. Children can be guided to explore their feelings in a supportive environment, where they are encouraged to express themselves freely. This might involve creative outlets such as art, music, or storytelling, where they can convey their experiences without fear of rejection. Through this process, children learn to identify and articulate their emotions. They begin to understand that anger may stem from feelings of hurt, while fear could be linked to feelings of abandonment. By naming these emotions, they can start to unravel the tangled web of their experiences. It also helps to shift their perception of emotional expression as a sign of weakness, to viewing it as a powerful tool for connection and understanding. As children engage in this emotional exploration, they gradually rebuild their capacity for trust. They learn that vulnerability can foster deeper connections and that it is possible to share their struggles without fear of judgment. This transformative process lays the foundation for healthier relationships in the future. Trust building is a gradual process, requiring consistency and patience from caregivers and educators. Children need to see that their feelings are acknowledged and validated. When they express anger, sadness, or frustration, it is essential for adults to respond with empathy and understanding rather than anger or dismissal. This response reinforces the idea that their emotions matter and that they are safe to express them. Emotional intelligence is a vital skill for children, empowering them to navigate their inner worlds and relationships effectively. Teaching children about their emotions and how to manage them is as essential as imparting academic knowledge. Self-awareness, self-regulation, and effective communication should be core components of their education. By integrating emotional education into their daily lives, children learn to recognize their feelings, understand their triggers, and develop coping strategies. They discover the impact of their emotions on their behavior and relationships, gaining insight into the importance of emotional regulation. This foundational understanding equips them to face life's challenges with resilience and confidence. Healing from the emotional scars of childhood is a journey that requires dedication and compassion. As children learn to embrace their emotions and foster healthier relationships, they also begin to reshape their narratives. The process is not linear, there will be setbacks and moments of doubt. However, each step taken toward understanding and acceptance is a step toward healing. Parents, educators, and caregivers play a crucial role in this journey. 
by providing a nurturing environment and modeling emotional intelligence, they can help children navigate their emotional landscapes more effectively. It is essential to create spaces where children feel safe to express themselves, where their feelings are acknowledged, and where they can explore their identities without fear of judgment. Lesson 4. The Power of True Presence Over Conditioned Memories To experience the extraordinary in your life, whether through healing, creating new opportunities, or having mystical experiences, you must master the concept of the present moment, often referred to as the eternal now. True presence goes beyond simply being aware, it requires you to transcend your physical identity, conditioning, and even the constraints of time itself. We often find ourselves anchored by limiting beliefs and patterns shaped by past experiences and societal conditioning. These beliefs create a lens through which we view the world, often distorting our perception and limiting our potential. To embrace true presence, you must learn to let go of these constraints, allowing for a deeper connection to both yourself and the world around you. This process involves shedding distractions and preconceived notions, enabling you to experience life as it truly is, unfiltered by the weight of past conditioning. When you stay attached to who you think you are, and how you believe the world works, you hinder your ability to create a new life. Thus, it becomes essential to step aside and allow something greater than yourself to take over. Understanding how the brain functions is crucial in this journey. When any part of the brain is activated, it creates what we call memory. For instance, driving a car, cycling, or running each requires a specific mindset that activates different neural networks, clusters of neurons that work together because you've performed these tasks numerous times. Each time you consciously engage in an action, you activate specific neural patterns associated with that behavior. Your brain's memory is largely shaped by your past experiences and the learning process. Learning occurs when neurons form new connections, effectively upgrading your brain's capabilities. Engaging with new information leaves biological impressions, helping to form and solidify memories. The stronger the emotional charge of an experience, the more lasting the impression it creates. As you interact with the external environment, your senses play a critical role in recording experiences neurologically. Highly emotional events, whether positive or negative, become deeply embedded in your memory. In essence, the past exists solely within your brain and body. This emotional intensity contributes to the formation of memories and can lead to emotions becoming trapped within your physical self. Trapped emotions can significantly affect your well-being, influencing your thoughts, behaviors, and overall emotional state. Understanding the connection between these trapped emotions and your experiences is vital for processing and ultimately releasing them. This awareness allows you to reclaim your emotional health and foster a greater sense of freedom. To navigate this journey, begin by cultivating self-awareness. Pay attention to the emotions that arise in various situations and reflect on their origins. Ask yourself, what past experiences or beliefs might be influencing my current feelings? By acknowledging these connections, you can begin to unravel the emotional knots that bind you to your past. Practicing mindfulness can also aid in this process. By grounding yourself in the present moment, you can create space to observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice helps you disengage from the automatic responses shaped by past conditioning, allowing you to respond to life's challenges from a place of clarity rather than reactivity. 
Embracing the present moment and releasing limiting beliefs leads to profound transformation. As you let go of old patterns, you create the possibility for new opportunities to emerge. This shift in perspective can result in unexpected healing, enhanced creativity, and even mystical experiences that redefine your understanding of life. Lesson 5. Rewiring Your Mind Our lives are shaped by a cycle of thoughts, emotions, and actions influenced by past experiences that often operate unconsciously. Every time we think a thought or recall a memory, our brain releases chemicals that generate feelings. Pleasant memories may bring calm or joy, while stressful ones can trigger tension or anxiety, creating a feedback loop. This cycle becomes ingrained, making certain emotions and thoughts habitual, which can limit our future possibilities. For instance, if you've experienced trauma or stress, you may unconsciously replicate those emotional responses in similar situations, even when no immediate danger is present. Over time, these patterns not only shape your emotional landscape but also affect your physical state, like a well-worn path in a forest. Every day, as you navigate routines, getting up, heading to work, or spending time with friends, you reinforce these same patterns of thought, emotion, and behavior. This autopilot mode makes change feel nearly impossible. Even when the desire for change exists, past programming can keep you trapped in familiar cycles. However, this cycle can be disrupted. By intentionally changing how you think and feel, you can alter your brain's chemistry and forge new neural pathways. If thoughts create feelings, and feelings influence thoughts, what happens when you consciously introduce new thoughts? Instead of reacting with fear, you could choose empowering perspectives, shifting your emotional state and opening the door to hope, excitement, and gratitude. Awareness is the first step toward transformation. Pay attention to automatic thoughts and emotional responses throughout the day. Are they aligned with the future you envision, or are they rooted in the past? Once you recognize these patterns, consciously replace negative or limiting thoughts with those that uplift you. While this may be challenging initially, it becomes easier with practice, as new pathways form in your brain. This process also requires letting go of the need for predictability. Familiarity can be comforting, even if it's based on negative experiences. Yet, to create something new, embracing uncertainty is essential. In the unknown lies the potential for growth and transformation. When you shift your thoughts and emotions, you can rewire your brain and change your biochemistry, crafting a future not dictated by the past. You possess the power to break free from old habits, shaping a life filled with new experiences and opportunities for growth. Lesson 6. Breaking Free from the Familiar Where you focus your attention determines where your energy flows. Dwelling on familiar feelings or memories pulls energy away from the present and into the past. Similarly, when your mind drifts to future tasks and obligations, you redirect your energy into a predictable future. Both habits drain your energy and limit growth, keeping you tied to familiar experiences. When your energy is anchored in these cycles, you exist in a loop of the same thoughts and feelings, which hinders the creation of new experiences. To break this pattern, shift your focus from the known to the unknown. Though stepping into the unknown may feel uncomfortable, true growth occurs in the space. It's in the present moment that you hold the power to create the life you desire, unburdened by past experiences or future anxieties. Research supports the idea that by simply shifting focus, 
change can begin even before tangible results are seen. Studies show that mentally rehearsing new actions can physically alter the brain and body as if the experience had already occurred. This neuroplasticity illustrates how the brain rewires itself through intentional focus. By concentrating on a new reality, a different version of yourself, or a new emotional state, you can begin to embody that future possibility. Chronic stress is a common barrier that pulls energy away from the present. Living in a constant state of stress can lead to disorganization and activate genes that contribute to inflammation and disease. Over time, this becomes a default state, trapping you in negative thought patterns and emotional reactions. Additionally, our brains can become addicted to stress hormones. On a subconscious level, we may seek out situations that reaffirm familiar emotions, keeping us locked in cycles of negativity. This emotional addiction drains our energy and inhibits the creation of positive experiences. Conversely, positive emotions can heal and transform. Shifting from stress, fear, or anger to joy, love, or gratitude can activate genes associated with growth and healing. Just a few minutes a day spent elevating your emotional state can yield positive genetic changes and strengthen your body's natural defenses. You hold the power to influence your health, well-being, and life experiences through your emotional state. Lesson 7 reclaiming your power through meditation. One of the most effective ways to reclaim your energy and break free from the external world's constant demands is through meditation. Meditation is the practice of focusing inward, of disconnecting from the external stimuli that pull us in every direction and reclaiming our energy. By turning your attention inward, you create space for your mind and body to heal reset, and ultimately align with the present moment. This is where real change happens. Meditation allows you to disconnect from the emotions and habitual thoughts that keep you anchored in the past or trapped in a predictable future. During meditation, as you focus on your breath or a particular intention, you may notice that your body begins to resist. This resistance comes from your body's craving for familiar emotions and routines. It's used to feeling stress, anger, or worry, and when you try to break that cycle, your body will fight to pull you back into those familiar emotional states. This resistance can feel uncomfortable at first, but it is a necessary part of the process. Each time you bring your focus back to the present moment, whether it's returning to your breath or redirecting your thoughts from worry to peace, you're training your body to follow your mind's lead. Over time, you are essentially reprogramming your body to live in alignment with the present, rather than reacting to past emotions or future fears. As you practice this process, you will begin to notice that the emotional triggers and negative patterns that once felt so powerful start to lose their grip. The more you practice, the more your mind and body begin to release stored emotions, breaking free from old patterns that have kept you stuck. This creates the space for new possibilities and experiences to emerge in your life. It's important to understand that breaking free from these old emotional patterns may cause parts of your life to shift or fall away. When you stop feeding your energy into the familiar, whether that's certain relationships, routines, or emotional responses, you may notice that your external world starts to change. This can feel unsettling at first, but it's a natural part of the transformation process. Sometimes, in order to create a new reality, parts of the old reality need to fall apart. This doesn't mean chaos or destruction, rather, it's the shedding of what no longer serves your highest good. 
It's the dismantling of the old structures that were built on negative emotions, stress, or fear. When these fall away, you create space for new relationships, new opportunities, and new experiences that are aligned with the person you are becoming. Meditation is the gateway to this transformation. By consistently choosing to focus inward, to redirect your energy from the past and future back into the present, you create the conditions for real and lasting change in your life. You become the conscious creator of your reality, no longer bound by old emotional habits or external pressures. By shifting your focus from the familiar to the unknown, you open yourself up to infinite possibilities. You are no longer living in the shadow of your past experiences, or chained to the demands of a predictable future. You are here, now, in the present moment, where all creation begins. With each breath, each moment of meditation, and each intentional shift in focus, you reclaim your energy and your power. You release the emotional bonds that have kept you stuck and open yourself up to a new reality. This is the path of transformation, the path of stepping into the unknown and consciously creating a life that aligns with your highest potential. As you continue on this journey, remember that it's not about perfection. It's about progress. Each time you bring your attention back to the present, you're taking a step toward creating the life you desire. And in doing so, you're not only reclaiming your energy, you're reclaiming your power to shape your future. Lesson 8. The Power of Self-Discovery Through Writing and Therapy Therapy is often viewed as a journey of self-discovery, delving into the deeper truths about who we are, our emotions, and our experiences. While it can sometimes be seen as self-indulgent, Exploring one's inner world is essential for emotional and mental well-being. Therapy offers a safe space to express feelings and experiences that might otherwise remain buried beneath the surface. By engaging in this process, individuals can better understand themselves and begin to unravel the complexities of their emotional landscapes. The importance of expressing one's feelings cannot be overstated. Emotional expression is vital for processing experiences and fostering healing. Many individuals carry emotional burdens that manifest as anxiety, depression, or relational struggles. Therapy provides a structured environment to articulate these emotions, allowing individuals to confront their feelings constructively. Through therapy, Clients can articulate experiences that shape their identities, relationships, and overall well-being. This articulation enables individuals to gain insight into their emotions, helping them navigate the complexities of their lives. The act of verbalizing feelings often leads to catharsis, allowing clients to release pent-up emotions and gain clarity about their experiences. In addition to traditional therapy, writing serves as a powerful medium for self-exploration. Writing can unlock emotions in ways that verbal expression sometimes cannot. Many individuals have found relief in expressing their feelings through writing, particularly in the form of unsent letters. These letters allow individuals to communicate feelings without the fear of judgment or consequence, creating a safe space for vulnerability. Writing to oneself can be particularly liberating, encouraging unrestricted self-expression. This form of introspection allows thoughts and feelings to flow freely, unencumbered by societal expectations. Such exploration leads to deeper self-awareness, enabling individuals to confront their innermost thoughts, fears, and desires. One effective writing technique is free writing, where individuals write continuously for a set period without editing or censoring their thoughts. 
This practice can yield surprising results, often bringing forth memories, insights, and feelings that may have previously remained unrecognized. In free writing, the conscious mind takes a back seat, allowing the subconscious to surface. Engaging in free writing can be a transformative experience. It encourages individuals to let go of their inner critic and embrace a more authentic voice. The absence of judgment during this process fosters a sense of freedom, allowing emotions to flow unimpeded. This uninhibited exploration can lead to the discovery of unresolved feelings, unacknowledged fears, and hidden desires. The combination of therapy and writing allows individuals to unearth deeper truths about themselves. This journey often involves confronting uncomfortable emotions, such as fear, shame, and guilt. However, by facing these emotions, individuals can work through their pain and begin to heal. Therapy provides guidance during this process offering tools and strategies to navigate emotional turbulence. Writing acts as a companion to this journey, serving as a form of self-reflection and insight. Together, these practices foster a comprehensive understanding of oneself, paving the way for personal growth and transformation. The impact of self-discovery through therapy and writing can be profound. As individuals gain insight into their emotions, they develop greater self-compassion and understanding. This newfound awareness can transform relationships as individuals become more attuned to their needs and the needs of others. Additionally, expressing emotions through writing helps individuals process their experiences, leading to emotional relief and a sense of closure. This process facilitates the release of pent-up feelings, creating space for healing and growth. Incorporating writing into one's routine serves as a powerful tool for ongoing self-discovery. Setting aside regular time for writing helps individuals stay in tune with their emotions, allowing for continued reflection and growth. This practice can take various forms, from journaling to creative writing, each providing unique opportunities for expression. As individuals commit to this journey, they may find that their writing evolves alongside their personal growth. What begins as a means of self-expression can transform into a powerful tool for insight, creativity, and connection. The journey of self-discovery through therapy and writing is not just about uncovering hidden truths, it is about embracing the entirety of one's emotional experience. By engaging in these practices, individuals foster greater self-awareness, compassion, and resilience. Lesson 9. Reconnecting with the Body Through Yoga and Self-Care In our fast-paced distraction-filled world, it's easy to become disconnected from the very vessel that sustains us, our body. Busy schedules, stress, and societal pressures often push us to ignore or suppress our body's signals, leading to a feeling of imbalance and disharmony. We neglect its needs, forgetting to honor it as an integral part of who we are. However, the journey towards self-love and authentic living begins with reconnecting with our bodies, tuning into the messages it sends, and learning to respond to those needs with care, respect, and compassion. Reconnecting with our physical selves enhances our ability to care for our health, energy, and overall well-being. When self-care flows naturally from this genuine connection, it transforms from a burdensome obligation into a source of pleasure and satisfaction. By paying attention to the body's subtle cues, its need for rest, nourishment, or movement, we honor it as a partner in life. This awareness allows us to cultivate habits that align with our well-being. Self-care becomes more than just physical maintenance, 
it becomes an expression of self-love that influences every aspect of our lives. When we treat our bodies with kindness and respect, we strengthen our connection to ourselves, leading to a more balanced, fulfilling life. One practice that has been widely embraced for its ability to deepen this mind-body connection is yoga. Yoga is more than just a physical exercise, it is a spiritual and emotional journey that invites us to explore our inner world. Through mindful movement and breath, yoga helps release blocked energy, emotions, and even trauma that may have been stored in the body over time. As a holistic approach to self-care, yoga addresses the needs of the body, mind, and soul, providing a pathway to healing and personal growth. Many individuals who practice yoga report feeling emotional release during certain poses. This is no coincidence. Specific poses are designed to open areas of the body where emotional tension tends to accumulate, such as the hips, shoulders, or chest. As we move through these poses, we may experience a release of emotions that have long been suppressed, leading to a cathartic and healing experience. Our bodies often store unresolved emotions, trauma, and stress which can manifest as physical tension or discomfort over time. In trauma recovery, the body may hold on to stress and anxiety as a defense mechanism, creating a disconnect from bodily sensations. Yoga offers a safe and nurturing way to reconnect with these parts of ourselves and gently release what no longer serves us. This emotional release brings a renewed sense of vitality, freedom, and connection, creating space for healing and transformation. At the heart of recovery is the cultivation of sensory awareness. Trauma can lead us to dissociate from the body, to disconnect from its signals as a way to avoid pain. Over time, this disconnection can result in unhealthy habits, overeating, undereating, or ignoring the need for rest. Yoga helps bridge the gap between the mind and body by encouraging us to tune into our senses. As we become more attuned to the sensations we experience during yoga practice, we develop a deeper understanding of how our body communicates with us. This heightened awareness helps us recognize and respond to our body's cues, supporting our overall health and well-being. Sensory awareness is especially crucial. Blocked energy often leaves individuals feeling stuck, as though they are perpetually trapped in a state of distress. Yoga teaches that sensations, like emotions, are not permanent, they come and go like waves. By focusing on the ebb and flow of physical sensations, we begin to experience a sense of release and learn that discomfort is temporary and manageable. Reconnecting with the body also shifts our perception of time. When we are disconnected from our bodies, time can feel overwhelming, as though we are constantly rushing through life without ever truly arriving in the present. As we reconnect with our bodies through yoga and mindfulness, we reclaim the present moment by grounding ourselves in the here and now. By focusing on our breath, the sensations in our muscles, or the alignment of a pose, we bring our awareness back to the present. This practice of being present allows us to slow down, appreciate each moment, and experience life as it unfolds. This shift in perception also allows us to let go of the anxiety associated with rushing or feeling out of control. As we become more aware of the passage of time through our bodies, we learn to embrace the present moment, finding peace in the here and now. This leads to a more balanced, mindful approach to life, where we are no longer bound by the pressures of time but are free to experience life at a natural, harmonious pace. Lesson 10. Revisiting the Past to Reframe Old Narratives 
Revisiting the past as a method for healing emotional wounds is a concept found in various therapeutic and spiritual teachings. Our past shapes us in ways we may not always realize. For some, revisiting early experiences can stir painful memories of neglect, trauma, or unmet needs. However, revisiting the past in a safe and nurturing space can open the door to profound healing. By re-experiencing what it might have been like to grow up in a supportive environment, we create new memories that help us reframe the old ones. This approach doesn't erase the pain, but it allows us to revisit those memories from a place where our needs for love and safety are fulfilled. Many of us carry deep wounds from our childhoods, often manifesting as insecurities, fears, or a sense of emotional isolation. When we grow up in environments where our emotional or physical needs aren't fully met, these early experiences leave lasting imprints on our psyche. They shape how we view the world, interact with others, and respond to challenges. For some, the lack of nurturing and security during formative years distorts their perception of relationships. They may become overly sensitive to others' actions, easily hurt by criticism, and distrustful of people's intentions. This heightened sensitivity can create a barrier between them and the world, preventing authentic connections and leaving them feeling alone. It's a vicious cycle. The more disconnected we feel from others, the harder it becomes to empathize with their struggles or understand their emotions. We may retreat further into our shell, avoiding intimacy and authentic relationships out of fear of rejection or further harm. Without a sense of safety in their bodies or surroundings, individuals can become trapped in survival mode, unable to access the emotional bandwidth necessary for meaningful relationships. Although we cannot change the past, we can create new emotional experiences that heal its wounds. Revisiting the past in a safe and controlled space allows us to process those early experiences with compassion and understanding. In these spaces, we can imagine or experience what it would have felt like to have our emotional needs met. Whether through therapy, meditation, or other forms of inner work, we can visualize ourselves receiving the love, care, and attention we deserved but may not have gotten. Creating these new scenarios can be profoundly transformative. They provide us with a sense of safety and security that many of us missed out on during our early years. These experiences can change the emotional landscape of our memories lessening the power of old wounds and replacing them with a sense of fulfillment. While they don't erase the pain or suffering of the past, they help soften its impact and allow us to move forward with a new perspective. This process is essential for emotional well-being. It helps us reframe old narratives, from one of deprivation and fear to one of love and possibility. In doing so, we unlock the emotional energy that had been trapped by these early experiences, allowing us to step into a more empowered version of ourselves. Understanding that our emotional wounds affect not just our minds but also our bodies is crucial. Trauma and unhealthy environments leave lasting imprints that can manifest physically, often keeping us in a constant state of survival. When people experience trauma or prolonged periods of stress, their bodies often remain in a constant state of survival mode. In this state, the nervous system is continually on high alert, scanning for danger. This heightened sense of awareness can manifest as anxiety, hypervigilance, or a sense of disconnection from the physical body. When we're stuck in survival mode, it becomes difficult to nurture relationships or care for others' needs, because all our energy is focused on staying safe. We're less able to access the more vulnerable parts of ourselves, such as empathy, compassion, and love. 
This state of being further isolates us, reinforcing the belief that we must rely solely on ourselves for survival. The body, in a state of trauma, often holds on to unprocessed emotions, memories, and sensations. This stuck energy creates blockages that prevent us from experiencing life fully. We may feel a sense of heaviness, numbness, or detachment from our bodies. Over time, this disconnection can lead to chronic pain, tension, or other physical symptoms that seem unrelated but are, in fact, deeply tied to emotional distress. The key to healing from trauma and early pain lies in unblocking the stuck energy. This process often involves practices that reconnect us to our bodies and emotions in a safe, gradual manner. Techniques such as yoga, meditation, or somatic therapy can help us gently release the trapped energy in our bodies and restore the natural flow of emotions. As we begin to unblock this energy, we may experience emotional release, often in the form of crying, shaking, or other physical sensations. These releases are a sign that our bodies are letting go of the trauma they've held on to for so long. It's important to approach this process with patience and compassion, as it can take time to fully process and integrate these emotions. Once this stuck energy is allowed to flow freely, it opens up space for us to evolve and reconnect with life. We begin to feel more present, grounded, and in tune with our surroundings. This newfound connection to our bodies and emotions helps us build deeper, more meaningful relationships, as we're no longer operating from a place of fear or survival. As we continue to heal and unblock the energy that was once stuck, we become more capable of nurturing relationships and attending to the needs of others. We're no longer operating from a place of fear or survival, but from a place of love and connection. This shift allows us to build deeper, more meaningful relationships with those around us, creating a sense of belonging and community that we may have never thought possible. In reclaiming our power, we move forward with a renewed sense of self, capable of nurturing relationships, embracing opportunities, and experiencing life fully.